hello guys welcome back in the last video i have told you about the data types that are available in java and we have discussed the integer data types now in this video i will discuss the floating point data types that are available in java floating point data types are used to store a very wide range of values with fixed number of digits and accuracy basically floating point data types are used to store decimal values decimal values are more precise and accurate than integer values there are two type of floating point data type available with java first one is float and the second one is double the size of float data type is 32 bits that is 4 bytes and it is used to represent a value with 6 to 7 digits of precision now let us see how we can use float data type this was our last program we will continue in this program only in order to use float data type we type f l o a t that is float we give the variable name and then we give the value now here comes a very important concept with data types if you want to use float data type then you have to add a suffix f at the end of the number otherwise this number will be stored as a double data type if we will not add this f suffix at the end of this number then this number will be stored as double data type and on compiling the program we will receive an error so keep this thing in mind that while using a float data type you always need to add a f as suffix at the end of the number now let's print this number i will just copy this statement i will paste it here and i will change the names here this is float and the variable name is g now let's discuss the double data type double data type is of 64 bits that is 8 bytes and it is used to represent a value with 15 digits of precision now let's see how to use double data type in order to use double data type we simply type d o u b l e that is double we give the variable name and then we give the value here we don't need to add any suffix f because by default all the values in floating point data type are stored as double now let's print this value i will again copy this statement and i will paste it here just need to change the name of the variable it is d and here i need to write double now let's save our program again now we need to compile it again because we have added new statements and new expressions in the program to compile java program we type java c and the file name that is demo data types dot java there you can see our program has compiled successfully now to run a java program we type java followed by the class name that is demo data types there you can see our program has compiled and executed successfully that's all with this video if you like my video then please share it subscribe it keep learning keep rocking